Hello dearly beloved, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Someone shared this with you, you connected with, with it yourself, you are blessed. Welcome to the Word for the Week, where I will go through a simple devotional, an excerpt of a devotional that is related to something that we have shared subsequently or previously during the week. And today, the Word for the Week is entitled, and it's a question, it says, Going with the flow? Are you going with the flow? And the word is taken from Romans 12, 1 to 2. You can join me as we read. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. To be conformed to the world, it's what we have termed in this excerpt, going with the flow. It means to comply with the world's standards, the world's patterns, do as the world does, behave as the world behaves, behave according to the socially accepted norms, which you know are changing every now and then. But God's standard remains the same. Similarly, it just so means that you agree with the world and the systems of the world. The Bible teaches us not to love the world or anything in the world, but then to have the love of God in us. So as a Christian, you don't want to just coast along. You don't want to just say, que sera, sera. what will be, will be. There are efforts, there are engagements, there are activities that you need to engage in so that you will be different from the world, that you'll be transformed the renewal of your mind. What is the blessing of that? It means you will be able to find and prove what God's perfect will for you is, which is not what the world presents to you or gives to you. So as a Christian, you don't want to go with the flow. There are so many dangers of going with the flow. If you go with the flow, you are amongst the crowd. And I can give you a list of people who are in that crowd. Lost opportunity people are in the crowd. Unrealized potential people are in the crowd. Had I known people are in the crowd. I don't care people are in the crowd. So many different people. And if not walk, they are not walking in any perfect will of God. They are not walking in the will of God. That's not so for you. As for you, as the Bible commands, it says, you must give endless heed to the things you have heard so that you don't drift away. That is the biggest risk you take when you go with the flow. You are looking at a risk of drifting away from the things of God. And if you drift away from the things of God, you drift away from His perfect will. So having heard this word, I want you to pray loudly and boldly and say, I will not be conformed to this world but I'll be transformed. My mind will be transformed by the Word of God. And I am in the class where God operates, and I will not miss my mark. I will live God's life here on earth. Amen. I have the Word of God. So this week as you go, I want you to just make up your mind that you are going to pay attention to what God says. You're going to go with the standard and His Word, and you are not going to go with the flow. You are going to go with the Word of God. So are you going to go with the flow? This is the answer. No, I'm going to go with the word of God. Think about it. Stay blessed. Until next week, bye.